Hello and welcome back for another mini vlog where we play dodgeball. I was asked to provide more context in voiceovers, so here we are. We begin by playing something called President. Across the footage, you'll see one member from each team raising their hands to identify who the president is. The aim of this game is to get the president out, and once you do, your team scores a point and the game resets. Naturally, being both fantastic at dodging and extremely humble, <laughs> My team wanted me to be the president for most of the games, so you'll see me raising my hand a fair few times. I really wanted to also shout out to Captain James for always handing me a ball to help me defend myself and Julia, because you'll always see her gravitating toward me to protect me, <laughs> even if I'm about to throw a ball at the other team, so just keep watching. <laughs> I started playing dodgeball probably mid-season, and I joined with my friend Laura, I was placed in a pretty epic team, as you can see. Everyone's really awesome and genuinely, naturally good at playing dodgeball. Like, I actually think we should go pro. <laughs> I'm only leaving this part in simply and only for one reason. Laura's dancing. Sometimes I don't actually notice until I rewatch this footage back. Look at Captain James. Like, both Phil and I didn't get the ball after we ran to try to get it. And he still clapped. <laughs> like, 10 out of 10 captain work. <laughs> Julia, 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 back at it again. This girl is a bloody gun. <laughs> Not only can she get the other president out in one hit, but look at her defense skills. <laughs> Here we have Phil, aka Daddy Christmas. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. He managed to get somebody out, but accidentally hit her in the face, I think. Our team got a little bit of a warning for this, which is completely understandable. It's also really funny because I never really see my team from the other team's perspective until I re-watch this footage. And all I can think, whenever my team has the ball and they're about to throw, they look so mean in a good way. And then their throws are really mean as well, which is also amazing. But then gives me perspective is essentially all I'm trying to say like when I look at the other team it does look a little bit intimidating but then you realize so are you so you just have to remember that well I have to remember that that's something I, I definitely <laughs> need to remember I also always look forward to the day that we play dodgeball simply because it is just that much fun but in the next clip you will see Rafe and Rafe will be getting out their president yay who is your daddy <laughs> And then the next clip is Tall James getting out their president after the first hit. <laughs> Who's your daddy? The context behind this clip is Rafe caught the ball that the president threw, which means she's automatically out. And you know what I think that deserves? I think that deserves one of Laura's voice clips. Here we go. Who's your daddy? Speaking of Laura, this is Laura. This is what Laura does in intermission. We are just a team full of talents. <laughs> yeah. This is our awesome referee, Sean. Hi. He checks in with us pre and post the game. We decide on what the fun points are and he really gives us some tips and tricks. Sean, you are an absolute legend. Also, his commentary is the absolute best. I've stood next to him during the matches on the side and he really does commentate really, really well. He should actually have a microphone. Oh, something that we need to suggest. But the other thing as well, every time he blows the whistle at the beginning of each, like, round I just like watch him and like I get so excited for him to blow the whistle so I can grab that ball the quickest um ah, it's just so much fun
I also recognize there are a lot of cuts sometimes when I'm re-watching the video after I've edited it and this is just simply because I like to keep all the juicy bits in. The juicy bits are where it's at. The juicy bits are when, <laughs> when I can use Laura's voice clip. Who is your daddy? I was so adamant I was going to beat this guy to the ball, but my shoes started slipping because the ground was wet where I was standing, and that's what I'm looking at. Boo. But in the wise words of a tall man called James, let them have it. A kamikaze attempt was made by Phil, which, you guessed it correctly, you know what it deserves. Who is your daddy? ashamed to say as the world's best dodger yes that you've heard that correctly with the world's best dodger i i was hit by one of the balls in this clip and then because i was the last man out i was walking to put the balls back on the cones and you'll see me not seeing james waiting for a high five so i kind of left him hanging and you see him looking at the camera and it's really awkward but it's fine sorry about that james it won't happen again <laughs> Who's your daddy? See, James, see? I'm keeping my promises already. Something else I also noticed, and I really love re-watching the footage that I take from Dodgeball now, is seeing how fast some of us are at actually running once the whistle is blown to get that ball. Also, Alex, I have no idea what that was, but well done. I'm just gonna give you one of these. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Look at the left-hand side of the screen where Julia is. Julia gets somebody out and then gets somebody else out by catching the ball that they threw. Who's your daddy? Before the second match started, our ref, Sean, wanted to take some snaps. The photograph is actually my team and then the team we're about to play against. So you see us congregating in the back, ready to take a photo, and here it is. Just like when we played the first team, we're playing president again. So whenever you see someone's hand moving up, that essentially means they're the president for that particular match. In this case, you will see me raising my hand once again. This was also one of the matches. <laughs> it's, it is that funny. This is also one of the matches that Julia literally just hit them once and got their president immediately out. So we won that round. <laughs> Who is your daddy? <laughs> Now 
Now here is where you need to look at Phil. Phil succeeds at his kamikaze in three, two, one. Who is your daddy? <laughs> realize you guys also have absolutely no context as to why we're all wearing ties and then the other team is also a little bit dressed up. I did ask Laura to provide some context for you so the next audio clip is from Laura. So we got told a week before the match that this game was going to be themed which was protect the president and we had to come kind of dressed in some kind of theme to represent that and I mean what president doesn't wear a tie so we decided hey it'd be really fun if we all wore ties. Now, for the guys, they had a few ties, but for the girls, we didn't really have any ties laying around. But the great thing was, with the help of Jeanette and um, her dad, they found some ties and um, were, you know, volunteered to bring a few for us girls in particular. The reality was, I don't know how to tie ties. But the great thing is, the sweet soul that Jeanette is, she actually came with the ties already pre-tied if that makes sense we just needed to tighten them and then it, the guys were kind of like oh that's so sweet that's what my dad would have done for us when we were young and that's where the concept of daddy came from and we just nicknamed Jeanette daddy and who's your daddy <laughs> recognize that I haven't really run through the rules of dodgeball for those watching along at home. So a live ball is a ball thrown by any player which has not come into contact with the ground. So if person A from the opposite team throws it at person B and person B touches the thrown ball and doesn't fully catch it, they're out. However, if you do catch the ball, then the person who threw it is out. A dead ball is a ball that could bounce off the ground so if it bounces off the ground first and then you catch it that's totally fine you're free to then throw it at the opposing team you can also use a ball to block somebody else's throw that's only if the ball you are holding doesn't fall from your hands when you do try to block it i think that's most of them additionally you can do a kamikaze as you did see feel successfully do <laughs> earlier in this clip but the risky thing with the kamikaze is if you throw it and you don't successfully hit somebody from the opposing team, you're technically still out because you have to jump to the other side where the team is. So technically, the fact that you are out of bounds makes you out. I think that's it for now, though. <laughs> I'm genuinely still in awe of how amazing Julia is at defense. Every single time I was the president, she defended me like I was the actual president or like prime minister, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> For someone who's such a competitive person, the fact that they got me upset me a lot, but seeing the opposing team's reaction to winning one of the matches was actually a little bit cute. I'm not gonna lie. Hey guys, we walked I was half time of our second match. Well, we're currently still winning, but um, I just yep. got out by like the nick of my foot. First time in the whole game, you got out. My number one fan. I don't remember the exact dialogue verbatim, but we're having a discussion within the team, the ref, and I think Rafe was talking about the fact that I got out and I just said, well, that never happened when Julia was defending me. <laughs> but rest assured, any good team 
is able to have healthy banter with one another. Otherwise, you're clearly not that comfortable around your teammates. So it's all love over here. And insert Laura's audio clip. <laughs> Who is your daddy? Also, Alex, that was epic. <laughs> Alex, that sneak attack, 10 out of 10. This one's for you. Who is your daddy? Phil, likewise. Who is your daddy? <laughs> Everything and more. We are the champions. We 